Well, as you sit, if you have your Bibles with you this morning, please turn with me to 1 Corinthians chapter 12. 1 Corinthians chapter 12, we will be concluding our consideration of this chapter this morning as we look at verses 27 through 31. First Corinthians chapter 12, verses 27 through 31. Join me once again in prayer as we pray for the Holy Spirit's work through his word. Our gracious God and Heavenly Father, as we come now to your word, we recognize that we could read the words on the page and like the Pharisees, not understand them. But, O Lord, we pray and we thank you, Lord, for your Spirit. We thank you for your Spirit's work who illuminates, who shines light, who opens our minds and our hearts and our understanding to know, to receive the very truth of your Word and to praise you and to thank you for it, Lord, even as your Spirit then applies it in our lives and uh, changes our walk. O Lord, we pray that these things would be true. We pray for your grace. In Christ's name, amen. Well, 1 Corinthians chapter 12, beginning in verse 27. Hear now the very word of God written for you and for me today. Now you are the body of Christ and members individually. And God has appointed these in the church, first apostles, second prophets, third teachers, after that...